Welcome to this video by Indicator Volk. And in today's video, I'm going to go over some of this uh, price action here with the Euro US dollar. I'm going to start on the one hour chart and I'm going to be going back and forth between the one hour and the 15 minute chart mostly. And just, you know, use the scientific scalper and the supply demand pro to, you know, see how we could have gotten in on some moves or, you know, look for these signs and these clues for this incoming bullishness that we see. And obviously, starting here, originating here, strong up move. We're going to mostly go over some of this down here and then this trade here that, you know, shoots up. And I'm in replay mode, but it continues to go up quite strong, the euro, US dollar here. So let me first go back to this candle here, and you will see that the scientific scalper, its background is red. And of course, that is because we've had this strong downtrend. The price has been breaking all these lows, but it's now come into a demand zone. And you can see this strong reaction here. So this is a great sign for bullishness, you know, incoming. Now, even though the background is red, there can still be some, uh, you know, clues for bullishness and at least a good entry can be found. Now, if I go to the 15 minute, we can see it's not quite reacting from anything just yet. And it's also got the red background. While it does print the green buy signal, we're, we're really filtering that out as a false signal. We want both the buy signals to match up with the blue background and vice versa, the red background to match up with the sell signals. Now, if I play this out some more, we can see on the 15 minute, we have a demand zone form. Going back to the one hour, it's still red background. It's about to change as soon as it breaks these highs, but we have a one hour demand zone that we saw this initial strong move up broke above this high here. Not quite that high, although it did wick above it. So it's showing strong bullishness here. But if I go back down to the 15 minute and I just want to point, you know, these things out because there can still be an entry on here. You just have to take it, um, you know, with potentially a lower risk entry. You know, there's still the signs. There's not as many as we want, but there's still the signs as far as the demand zone and a break of structure. So we can expect some sort of bullishness. Now, for me personally, I would only be looking for the most refined or precise entries. And if you draw a fib from the range from the low to the high, this new range, you know, where we have the break of structure, obviously we can see 70.5 is a incredible entry as it just wicks below it. So I would not have been wanting to enter off of one of these candles up here. I would have waited for a good retracement you know, deeper into the, the discount uh, portion of the range, which we got here. But if I were to have gotten in this move, I would have gotten in with lower risk because I just don't have all the confirmations that I want. Because the background, remember at this time, as I bring it back here, see, as that retraces, the background is still red even though it's reacting off of a higher time frame, a one hour demand zone. So I just wanted to point that out that, you know, we are waiting for the right confluences. And even though this does present itself, even though it does have the demand zone and the break of structure, it, you know, 
it's still one you want it to be a lower risk entry and not go all in on this thinking that bullishness is a hundred percent confirmed. So let's go back out to the one hour and watch it play out some. And of course, now we see as it breaks above here, we now have the blue background indicating bullishness. So we want to look for some more entries. Um, ideally, we would love to have the one hour and the 15 minute, um, the backgrounds blue and print by signals while reacting off of a supply or demand zone. So here we have price. You can see here, been consolidating, had this strong up move. So we can naturally expect some consolidation. And of course, during that time, prints no buy signals. Even though the trend is still bullish with the blue background, no buy signals because it's just consolidating. No clean break of structure until we do come to here. Granted, it's a small one, not a, you know, super strong break of structure, but it does count as a break of structure. Let me actually rewind it back to where that happened. So as it breaks above these highs, this high here and this high here, we see the demand zone form. Price then retraces into it. We have the blue background. Now we do not have the buy signal on the one hour. But let's go into the 15 minute and see what we can find. Break of structure happens here after all this consolidation. I want to point out no buy signal in here as well on the one hour and the 15 minute lots of consolidation nothing clean price breaks above here retraces into what the one hour demand zone with the scientific scalper having a blue background we do not get the buy signal on the one hour however we have the blue background on the 15 minute and the buy signal right after the retracement. Could have gotten in on this candle here with your stop below here. Now, at this point in time, you've gotten in right here. You would have been in profit with this high being taken and you want to just as for good risk management start looking at taking partials and then moving your stop to a break even point we have the confirmations we want for bullishness however we have to take into account the volatility that can come from time to time of course we see this wick would have taken us out, but let's go back to that wick and see what could have happened. We put our stop here initially from this trade. We would have just had a, you know parcels taken with our trade to break even. It would have stopped this. However, when we see that, we see a 15 minute demand zone form. On the one hour, what do we have? We have the demand zone still holding. So this is still the demand zone that pushed price up and we can see it has not been violated. So this can still count and still hold validity to continue to push price up, which we see it does. After consolidation, we 
we can always expect price to run for liquidity first before making its move. It may first, you know, make its move up here and then go down before shooting up, but we can always expect it to at least make an opposing liquidity run at some point before making its real move. And so that's why I wanted to point that out. When we get when we got in here with the 15 minute buy signal on the scientific scalper with the blue background with the demand zones i want you know i've pointed out good risk management would have you take parcels above this high which we see it just does create that new higher high consolidate some more which is giving you the signal okay at some point if if this is going to go higher it's more than likely going to run the stops below here and create a new low before actually going up. So even we, we can still expect it to go up with this demand zone and with the 15 minute demand zone holding. But again, we want to have good risk management and take parcels move to break even because of the consolidation. If this move as I'm about to play here, as it continues up, if a move like this happened right here soon after we got in, then it's no worries. Then we're fine. We can, we can expect just to stay in the trade longer. But once we got in here, off of the one hour demand zone, the 15 minute demand zone, along with the buy signal. And then we see it just barely go up and consolidate. We want to take parcels. We want to cut the trade a little early because consolidation will lead to a liquidity run at some point. Of course, we have here strong move, retraces, goes back up. This is looking like just from eyeballing it, another good FIB retracement entry. Just wicks below the 70.5 into the demand zone. We do not get the buy signal, even though we have the blue background. And this is where, you know, if you want to use these two indicators, you know, you come up with your own confirmation uh, rule set of how you can enter a trade. Again, I'm just using these two time frames, the one hour and the 15 minute of just looking for the confluences and the confirmations, you know, of the backgrounds. Obviously, we want both the one hour and the 15 minute to have the same background. And we would also prefer for them to be both trading off of a demand zone or a supply zone at the same time. And then, you know, use certain entry techniques like a fib retracement, um, or, or the, the buy signals as well to get in on a trade. So this was just a, you know, quick video on how to use these two together. And of course, you know, something that works great with the scientific scalper is also, you know, the indicators like the logic day trading or the order block gen, they can provide great zones or, or you know, great entry techniques of you know places to uh, actually enter a trade in so i hope this video was helpful and until next time best of luck trading